On July 12, 2024, 11.30 a.m., the paper original of this request in Lithuanian was delivered to the female employee of the Freedom Party of Lithuania headquarters in Vilnius, Gedimino Avenue 64. She did not register it. Translation from Lithuanian follows. 2. Member of European Parliament Judge Dainos Žalimas from Irma Šmulkštite, Yuri Radovich. Request to initiate an investigation in the European Parliament into the illegal use of electromagnetic weapons against citizens of the European Union by the secret services of European Union and NATO, as well as illegal surveillance and terrorizing of them. Vilnius, 2024, July 11th. You were elected as a member of the European Parliament on June 7, 2024. You stated that you intend to work in the European Parliament Human Rights Committee and defend human rights. The applicants are convinced from their almost lifetime experience that the most malicious and unpunished is the covert and overt total surveillance of citizens and their selective terrorization by the secret services of any country, targeting the most vulnerable people at their own discretion 24 hours 7 days a week through a large number of secretly cooperating civilians, agents, undercover agents, human, human intelligence and technical monitoring tools, signant, signal intelligence. It should be emphasized that it violates point 1 of Article 17 of the Law of Criminal Intelligence of the Republic of Lithuania when the secret services conclude oral cooperation agreements with minors, including elementary school students, and with persons who are obliged to maintain the secrecy of confessions. It should also be emphasized that neither the law of criminal intelligence of the Republic of Lithuania nor the law on intelligence of the Republic of Lithuania provides for overt external surveillance that is intentionally obvious, intimidating, threatening by means of pantomime to beat or to murder. Only covert tracking is provided, which an experienced person may not even be aware of. Testimonies of Yuri Radovich about how the mentioned surveillance activity is organized in Lithuania as a member of the European Union and NATO security system and how it takes place on the scale of the entire European Union. See book in Lithuanian. Jurius Radovičius, Surveillance, Personal Evidence, Vilnius Self-Publishing, 2015. The address of the online version of the book is referred to. The online version of this book in English, Illegal Total Surveillance in Lithuania and in some other NATO countries, Personal Evidence, Vilnius 2016, is consistently removed from the Internet by an unknown service. Footage evidence of illegal surveillance are being collected on Yuri Radovich's YouTube channel, Filming of Agents. Also see the list of names of undercover agents who presented themselves to him in one way or another on his Facebook page Yuri Radovich. This activity of the secret services is unconstitutional and criminal even when it is carried out with the secret permission of the prosecutor and the court. In such cases, prosecutors and judges are accomplices of criminals. If this terror is carried out after the NATO secret services include the person in the database of tracked terrorists or in other databases, then he is followed by all national secret services to which countries he would arrive or through which he would travel in the territory of the European Union. The perpetrators must also be severely punished. The motives of criminal stalking and terrorizing are not political. They are not related to the security of the state, but are usually personal and hooligan, such as envy, revenge, sadism, appropriation of property, etc. Testimonies of Irma Schmulkstite on the basis of illegal total surveillance, secret services apply extremely cruel physical torture with electromagnetic, electromagnetic harassment and other impulses to vulnerable persons chosen at their discretion. 
Irma Schmulkstite is a targeted individual who is persecuted by the methods of the secret services using secret technologies. Most often such operations are related to criminal or military intelligence which have various technical, psychological and organizational measures. Methods of maiming and terrorizing a person are prohibited. Therefore, Irma Schmulkstite turns to the human rights organizations to seek help. The law prohibits psychological violence and physical torture, and a person under the impact of psychotronics or a victim of persecution is subjected to brutal non-contact torture using the psychology of trauma. See Irma Schmulkstite's appeal here. Reference is provided. Translator's note. The audibility is bad there, but the content is doubled here. Impulses to Irma Schmulkstite are launched around the clock from various types of transmitters. Various devices are secretly and illegally installed in Irma Schmulkstite's residence and car. Apparently, the constantly visible drones or probes following Irma Schmulkstite whenever she is going are also used to emit impulses. Operators of portable emitters work from passing or parked cars from among passers-by, from neighboring buildings, apartments, houses. Those people are often persons with criminal inclinations hired by the secret services. In this way, those services appropriate, share and waste state funds intended to strengthen the country's security. Psychotronic weapons are used. That is microwaves, infrared waves, ultrasound of various ranges, Radio frequency weapon, extremely high and extremely low frequency electromagnetic radiation, various types of radiation, chemical, biological, acoustic weapon, voice to skull technology, laser radiation, infrared rays, etc. Individual targeting occurs automatically after the Secret Service first receives personal biological samples from agents working in a medical facility, medical nurses, doctors, criminals to indicate the frequencies of DNA electromagnetic radiation so that the emitter matches that radiation like to a beacon by analogy with GPS. Also each human organ emits frequencies used as a target to damage that organ. There is reason to believe also that implants and chips are used for targeting introduced into the body by doctors criminals. Impulses or stabs are periodically launched into various parts of the body – head, heart, eyes, hands, legs, internal organs, ulcers, cuts, burns, bleeding are caused. This is done continuously 20 hours a day. When a radiation weapon is used against a person, he begins to experience intense heat, strong body vibrations, tingling, burning, dizziness, nausea, and various physiological reactions. A person's health is destroyed. The rhythm of the heartbeat, vision, hearing are disturbed. A person can be killed by stopping the work of the heart, and death will seem natural. Irma Schmulkstitter's life is in danger. Continuous torturous exposure, 24 hours a day, clearly intended for life, is intended to drive such a target to suicide. The unnatural nature of these ravages of health is evident not only by these seemingly causeless disorders, but also by their supposedly causeless self-cures, when the offending physicians are instructed to temporarily keys their impacts. This secret experiment is happening on a global scale. There may not be private, powerful, secret organizations in Lithuania, but they exist in the world. On the basis of the cooperation agreements of the secret services of NATO countries, as well as on the basis of agreements with private technological companies, the aforementioned equipment is designed, constructed and applied in each country. The system includes satellite tracking devices and Lithuania does not have its own, at least it didn't, so it has to pay a lot of money for its use. The Lithuanian secret services are members of the International Criminal Association participate in its operations and the secret services of other countries in turn take over the terrorizing of the Lithuanian human target in their territories. The action presumably takes place in accordance with the 
MK Ultra program of total technical surveillance and torture created in the USA in the second half of the 20th century. Although it is announced that it has been closed long ago, but according to what is happening, it can be assumed that only the name was changed. Community of American targeted individuals considers the same. We know of more people in Lithuania who are tortured by electromagnetic means, but they, not expecting such a betrayal from their state, do not realize the cause of their ailments themselves or being terrorized and not having the strength are afraid to speak about it publicly. We get threats and warnings from strangers for our exposures. Attempts are being made to intimidate us through our relatives. Auto incidents are artificially staged for the target person to make him guilty and to present him as mentally disturbed, unstable. He is then declared mentally ill and placed in the hands of psychiatrists, most of whom are criminals as they use methods of punitive psychiatry that were perfected in the Soviet Union. What we present as evidence and testimony from a legal point of view abroad is usually qualified as extrajudicial punishment, a lawless punishment, rather a personal crackdown, which is considered a crime committed by a state institution. There are gross violations of human rights declared by the European Union and the United Nations to life, privacy, work and others. At the same time, it should be emphasized that European Union and national legal norms do not provide of liability for remote electromagnetic torture and electromagnetic experimentation on the human body without the consent of the person. As full-fledged citizens of the European Union and the Republic of Lithuania, we will not put up all this. We will resist, and in any case, we will continue to collect and publicize incriminating evidence. We request, first, based on our testimonies, initiate an investigation into the illegal total surveillance and terrorizing of European citizens by the secret services of the European Union, NATO, in the Human Rights Committee of the European Parliament, the Security and Defense Committee, and the Petitions Committee, in order to put an end to it and punish the guilty. Second, based on this request of ours, initiate the formation of the European Commission's outgoing commission to investigate the illegal terror carried out by the secret services of the Republic of Lithuania on the spot, so that we can personally present more evidence in Vilnius. And third, at this time, personally receive us, Irma Shmulkštite, and Yuri Radovich to consider the material submitted in our request and the criminal prosecution of the main officials responsible for the criminal crackdown, Darius Yonishkis, director of the State Security Department of the Republic of Lithuania, Elegius Paulavichus, director of the Second Operational Services Department under the Ministry of Defense of the Republic of Lithuania, Renatas Pozhela, General Commissioner of Police, Arunas Maskolunas, Head of the Bureau of Lithuanian Criminal Police. This request had been sent to Dainus Jalimas also by email on July 12, 2024.